Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Andy, and today we're going to be talking about AI. Not ChatGPT AI, but Luminar Neo, which is a photo editing app. I've been using Lightroom for many years, many years, and I thought it was the best thing you can do. Well, Luminar Neo is out, and it's AI editing which means it does a lot of things for you. This is great because I sometimes just don't have time to sit there and edit 30 minutes for one picture. So Luminar Neo helps me solve that problem. Fast editing, click of a button, it does everything else for you. Some settings are similar to Lightroom, but other settings, they are pretty easy. You just click a button and it'll analyze the whole picture. Enough talk about it. Let's get into it and I'll show you what it can do. All right, so I am going to add some photos. I put some photos here in Luminar Neo and here are five pictures that I have not edited at all. Never even touched it. I took this in Korea and it's about time I edit some of it. These has portraits, it has some street photography, some black and white. So I thought it was perfect. I'm gonna create a quick album. I'm gonna call it Korea Neo. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm gonna put in these five pictures in there. All right, oh, six pictures. I don't know what's wrong with me. What's that counting? Okay, let's go ahead and edit the first black and white picture. This this shot is, I love this shot already. So honestly, I can't think of much that I can do to fix it. It is such a great picture. But over here on the right, you know, it is, you can click here where it says catalog and then the preset is the next thing you do. You can select a preset and this thing right here can show you, you know, before and after, but we haven't done anything, so it doesn't matter. On the right hand side, it says for this photo, it goes big screen, blockbuster, monochrome, HDR, night, okay? I'm gonna click on the first one. And then within this, it gives you all these presets. Look, if it's softbox, you know, blur noise, sunshine, dark forest, and cool frame. Now it's a black and white photo, so there's not much I can do there. I'm gonna check out monochrome connection. Elegant matte, ooh, okay, it added a lot of um, fade to it, so the black is not super black, but for the shot, I kinda want it to be black, like super black, where almost the detail is gone. So, you know, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of film to it. Okay, so you can basically click this, and then you can adjust how much you want from there, okay? So I'm gonna go about 62% and then I can go back, okay? So if that's all I wanna do, perfect, the shot's great already. But if I wanna go more, I hit the edit button and it takes me through this entire list right here. So you go down the list and you can click anything you want. You can go develop, you know, and these are kind of like Lightroom right here. I can brighten up the exposure, double click to reset. I'm gonna lower the highlight a little bit just to bring some of that back, but I'm gonna darken the shadow where I barely can see the, the, the road right here. Black and white, I'm gonna make it a little bit more black. Because I want you to see and notice the person riding a bike and his shadow. Other than that, I don't need you to see the bottom of it. It's more like my frame, which is why I love this shot. It frames it already. Okay, and then if you wanted to erase anything that's on the screen, so for example, there's these white little spots right here. I can click it, okay, and then add a bunch of it. And then I can hit erase and boom. Those spots on the roads are gone, so I don't have to worry about it. You can click stuff that are like distracting. I think these snowflakes are kind of lame. So I click them, I click erase, and they're gone. Just like that. It's super easy, it works perfectly, and it's really fast. But then I can move on and I can add structure. You know, it can be the amount of I want, which I kind of don't like that. So I'm gonna put that at zero. Then you can go to color, black and white, detail, Sharpen it a little bit. You can put a little bit of vignetting in there. I honestly don't know how I feel about that either. Add some film in there, but let's say if I didn't want any of these things done, I can go into the edit and I can just delete. Delete dramatic, delete film, delete vignetting, delete some details, anything I want to delete. Okay, this picture, honestly, 
I like the way it is. So we're going to move on. Okay, we're going to go to this shot. Oh, this is perfect. So I can double click on it. Oh, hey, it will send out this picture. I like this picture. I don't know why I like it, but it's, it's just... The picture itself looks really nice. It tells you what I use. Fujifilm X100V. I can go to preset and the same thing. It can show me, hey, this is a picture of a building. So you want some urban style. It recommends this for big city light, even big screen. I'm gonna do Old Town. I'm gonna lower the blue a little bit. Felt like it's a little bit too blue. Oh, there's this cool spot right here. So I can click this, right? And because the sky is all blue, I can add my own sky in there. Like that. Whoa. Not something too crazy, right? Let's add some clouds. Oh, that kind of looks perfect. And then I'm gonna go develop. I'm gonna brighten it up just a little bit. Maybe a lot more, there it is. Then lower the shadow. Add a little bit smart contrast in there. Okay, lower the blackness of it a little bit. Make it a little bit more moody. I'm gonna raise this. Okay, I don't like this line right here. So, you know what I can do is erase it. Zoom in. Raise that too. Raise this. You know, zoom in, erase these. Boom, they're all gone. Just like that, I'm gonna erase that. Delete that too. I love it, I love how easy it is. Just click a couple buttons and then erase it. Brightness in the background. See, you see how the background is getting darker? I can make the sky brighter just cause it's a sky. And then I can make the front a little bit darker if I wanted to like this. You see how it's only in the front? which is insane how you can do that. And I can add fog if I wanted to. And let's leave that off. Sunray, okay. Oh, whoa, the sun wasn't even there. I can move it. I can add a sunray, holy, right there. Because the sun is hitting this side, brightening up this, but not getting to that. I think I, I think that's it, you guys. I, if I add any more, I'm just ruining the shot. But let's just see how it looks like so far. So this is the before, right here. Okay, thought it was a good picture. This is after, way better, way better. Look, before, after. Basically put it in the middle, it looks, you know, kind of boring. Look how much dramatic that picture looks. Wow, let's edit this portrait shot right here of Jeanette. This is this is a great shot right here. Okay, we're gonna start with high key right here. It did most of the editing for me. Dark, brighten it up, but I'm going to do a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to develop. I'm gonna brighten this up just a little bit more. There, okay. And let's see, let's see. See what I wanna mess around with. Portrait bokeh. Look, it blurred out the entire background. Wow. Okay, let's not blur it out too much where it looks fake. Let's go to the face, face light. Brighten up the face right there so it doesn't look too dark. Catch the attention. Perfect, you can go to skin. You know what's crazy? You can do eyes, look at this. Isn't that insane? Brighten the eye, eye enhancer. Basically, I can do all of this, right? And this is usually what you do in like Photoshop. But the fact that you can just do it here is pretty insane. You can go through and edit, basically change this whole entire thing. Nice jacket, high keys. Oh man, this, it already looks so great already. I don't know what else to do. That's my shot. And super easy is that you can hold command control, grab these two, command V, and you paste it right over. All right, we're gonna move on to the last one. This gentleman right here, just staring at me. Let's go to preset. We're gonna do a preset that I think would look great. Big city thrill. I think that's it. Just one click and it does so much already. That's the before and this the after. Making everything give that like black, dark green mood, which I really like. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of a netting to this. There you go. And this picture itself is already done. Just a click of a button. Export all these shots because I do really like the way they turned out. So save it to disk. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in. Actually, edit it. There you go. Save, boom. Exporting one out of six. All right, that's it. I hope you guys did like this video. This is me editing with Luminar Neo and I think it's such a great app. If you guys have not used it already, definitely go check it out because it does save you a bunch of time. And if you're not really into editing with Lightroom because of how intimidating it can be, Luminar Neo can save you a bunch of time. So check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below too so you guys can definitely use it however you like. My name is Andy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.